Good morning, beautiful budgeters. Back again with a video. This is gonna be a little bit different. Um, this is like a storm mode video that um, you hear budgeters refer to that when shit hits the fan, you kind of empty out all of your envelopes. Now, I am in a situation right now where um, me and my boyfriend have had a volatile experience. Um, his friend hit on me. It was my fault, apparently, because I was in his house and I was talking to him and I was drinking with him, him but yeah, he said something to the effect that I would meet with you and then I kind of railed into him and told him he was like a disgusting human being, he's a piece of shit and that he doesn't know anything about us and that um, he he's nobody to our relationship. However, my boyfriend took his side, yelled at me, cussed me out, punched, mind you, this was in us, just us by ourselves walking to the car. He hit the windshield. And he told me to pack my shit and get out. So, because of that, I have taken the money that we were going to put aside for a range that he gave me to hold. I'm going to go, I've already started spending it. There used to be $400 in here, now there's $260. I wonder why. I thought I grabbed $100, not $200. But anyways, um, so I'm going to grab this money. I'm going to deposit it in my bank. I no longer trust him. I can't trust him with my money. Um, not that I think he's going to come into this room at all because we're kind of like just isolated ourselves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and empty out this book and depo make this deposit today. And then tomorrow I'm going to do, I'm going to empty out another book and deposit that money because I also have rolled coins. Um, I'm going to just do this in stages um, just because I have rolled coins and they won't accept so many of them because I have to deposit my money in at CVS because I um, don't have a local bank. So... I'm just gonna literally empty out everything and just kind of separate it through uh, by denomination, which really sucks because um, I'm gonna have to like kind of start all over again with some of these categories, um, and I'm already messing up my denominations. I am gonna keep my cards in here, so I, if I can, I would like to uh, make a withdrawal and put whatever I can back, at least into the, the categories that I'm still going to need. So this is now empty. Every single one is now empty. Some of these didn't have money to begin with, like Halloween and um, Christmas, because it's too early for that. Electronics didn't have anything either. So let's go ahead and count out and see how much I'm going to deposit today. I have 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh man, I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 710, 720, 730, 731, 32, 33, 34, 35. Then I'm going to deposit three $10 rolls. So that gives me 760. Wait. Yeah, 760. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so that's one book that is going to be deposited today. I'm going to head over to like CVS because I have one of those Capital One 365 accounts. And that way I don't have to worry about that. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the same thing with another book. And I guess I'll just record this in stages as I go along. Finder. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to just keep this cash on me. It really freaking pains me to have to empty out everything because I work so hard. And I, you know, I stuffed everything. I worked so hard just to try to get everything, my budget in order, you know, set aside money for things for the future. And um, obviously I didn't do a good job because I don't have a place of my own, which was on the to-do list, which was one of the goals that I have written down on my month, my planner every week. Remember that you need to get a condo of your own, that you need to have security of your own um, for myself, for my future, because now I'm going to have to move out and um, leave my cats behind and, um, you know, find a place to live, live. All of this money that I saved for certain things is just, who knows where it's going to go to now. Probably just moving expenses. Um... I did use up like 400 something dollars, I think, that he uh, gave me to hold for a range. I'm using that. That's, I'm not gonna, he's not gonna get that back. I really don't care at this point. So, 
let's see how much I have here. A lot of these are probably just going to be like smaller bills, I think. I don't think I saw a $100 bill in here. Oh, here it goes. I'll put this one up here. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go to LA, uh, Venice Beach. I'm going to stay out there for a few days. Um, I am going to try to buy myself some time with him. He did mention something about therapy, that he's willing to pay for it. Mind you, he mentioned therapy a couple of years ago. When I brought it up to him, he laughed, which should have been an indicator that I should have just left him. But um, I stayed like an idiot because I have things wrong with me. And, um, you know, that's just the way it goes. You know, there's things wrong with me and that's why I stayed and I put up with him. So that really sucks. And um, let's go ahead and just count out how much I have. Yeah, let me go ahead and do this. So we have 100. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 520. 530, 540, 550, 560, 570, 580, 590, 595, 600. Uh, 605, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 615. Okay, yeah, I am not going to be walking around with this kind of money in my pocket. I am going to deposit this. I'll keep some money. I'll keep the ones, the fives, and the tens in my pocket, in my wallet, because I am going to be driving. And uh, for one thing, I don't want to be stopping for uh, gas. I'll use this for food. I'm also not eating in this house. I um eating dinner in this house. I'll eat breakfast, I'll eat lunch. And then so far since Sunday, I've been So this happened Super Bowl Sunday. Um I it's now Thursday. So I'm leaving for dinner like every night because I don't want to be here. And also um I can't sleep. So I sleep for like 2 hours, 2 3 or 4 hours. I get off at 2.30. He gets off anywhere between 3.30ish and 6.30. So I try to sleep in those hours. That's the only time I can get really good sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. <laughs> Wait, that means the same thing. <sighs> so I'm going to go ahead and deposit this money. So I'm going to deposit 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400. Plus I have a bunch of rolled coins. I'm going to deposit this to my account. So, and then this I'll hold on to my wallet. So guys, hopefully I can give you guys some good news soon. I'm going to buy myself a bit of time. He's talking about therapy. I'm just going to say something like, well, I'm going to stay in the other room until we actually see this, uh, this therapy thing actually get started because, um, yeah, he said that before and I don't believe him. And I don't think this is going to be something we can fix. Thanks. I think the trust has just been so damaged that... I don't care. I don't care about whatever crap he says. I gotta look out for me. Because he sure as hell doesn't.